All right, here's one that I think is very important. This is how I would start every video. I think the kid has to identify who he is, tell you his age, his height, his weight, and what class he might graduate in, and his GPA. But I want to hear it audibly, not holding up a sign. But I want to hear the kid talk. How, what's he sound like? What's his tone? What's his personality? So I would start like this. Hi, I'm Harold Reynolds, MLB Network, age 58. Looking good, by the way. Class of 2020. Hi guys, my name is Andrew Allen. I am eight years old and I live in Montclair, New Jersey. And this is my video. All right, the first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna hit off the tee. I wanna set the camera angle in a, such a way that you can see my whole body, my whole swing. I don't want you too close, you're in my face, and now you don't see my swing. So you get a good distance, I'll start off a tee. You can see where I'm set up at on the tee, where the tee's set, and what my actual swing looks like as I take some hacks. You want to be able to have a, a position where you can see the whole swing. Now clearly with this, where it's set up at right now, you don't see the flight of the ball, but you do get to see if I'm staying on plane, what it looks like, what angle I'm getting to, uh, if everybody's in the launch angle, everything else, and I stand through my swing the whole way, and that's that. So this is obviously from the right side. If I want to come on around and do it left-handed, same thing applies. You want to set it at an angle where you can actually see, again, the whole body, where I'm set up at, what my swing looks like, and what my angle looks like. Now, with the beauty of being able to edit, now I want to get it from the other angle. I'll start on the right side of the plate. And now, what you're going to see is where the ball's going to travel to. You see my setup, where I'm set up at, I'm back in the box, but now you're seeing if I'm hitting the ball, what it looks like coming off the bat. You see that one there going straight up the middle, and I'm able to stay there. If I want to go the other way and I'm working off the tee, I'm hitting the right field. If I'm able to take the ball the other way with any authority, I'm being able to do this. The main thing being, you get a chance to see the ball travel. Seeing some swings off the tee, this is what it looks like when you're doing flip drills. That's probably the angle that you wanted at. Again, I'm set up here, or the camera can even come and pan this way over here. You can come over here and be dead center behind me. What does this do? All the same things we talked about before. Seeing where I'm coming through the ball and how I'm hitting it. You can set right there, I will not hit you. You wanna set up right here. This is a side angle flip, and I'm gonna try to pull the ball, and make sure I don't hit my camera person. So he flips the ball, boom, I won't hit you. Back up the middle, boom, that one's pulled. So, right there. Now you see what I'm saying? You got, it. I'm not staying through those balls. That one just about tried to hit you. But now you get the picture of what it's like straight on. Just come over here real quick, over his shoulder. Now I'm not as worried about hitting you. You wanna drop the ball down a little bit lower? Thank you. Now you can see, again, the beauty of this is I'm, I'm getting swings in a row. You get a chance to see all the things you talked about off the tee, how I'm staying through it. All right, let's switch around to the other side real quick. We'll take a couple left-handed. You can start in the middle again with the camera here. But the main thing is you're getting a chance to see what does my approach look like. You want to keep it down low so I don't hit her. All right, boom, right there. Woo, home run. Boom. Boom. All right, you get the picture. And then if the same thing would happen over here, I'll take two or three swings so you can see the angles. You get a chance to see my whole body, see all through it, and now you're seeing the movement of the ball and get a chance to see what I'm doing. Boom. All right, now I'm gonna take some swings on somebody throwing to me. You probably don't even know from the angle that we're at, he's actually throwing the ball. I don't like this camera angle as much because I don't see the fly of the ball. So I'll bring you back around me and now you get to see a couple things. How hard is the ball coming in? And am I hitting the ball where it's pitched? You can throw a little bit more. All right, I'm ready. Boom, that ball down in. You see what kind of swing I got? Oh, oh I should have hit a little bit more to the right field. I didn't want to hit him, so I didn't swing too hard. But you get the picture that the ball's right there. I'll just take some swings left-handed. So when the camera's set up here, now you see everything. This is an angle that a lot of people do not send us, and you don't know where the ball's going or how hard the guy's throwing, 
of everything, because you get a lot of kids, all they're trying to do is hit every ball in the ballpark. Instead, like this, and instead of now, boom, that one is out of here. Back up the middle. He didn't have the screen, so I don't want to hit it. It's only wiffle balls. But you get the picture of the angles that you want to try to hit and see, because you can see the whole body, the whole swing, the whole approach. Boom. When I'm doing a breakdown or trying to learn what somebody's capable of doing, I get a chance to see the whole body. This is almost like the shot you have during the game when you see from center field. So now I can see where the ball's thrown to, what kind of swing I'm taking, and all that, just like Major League Baseball game. Now I get a real sense of what kind of hitter the guy is at the plate. Boom, that ball's away. I took it away. While I was in, I was able to pull it. But you see all that. Most of the time, we get videos that are this close. And yeah, kid looks great, but you don't know what he's doing. The ball doesn't carry, you don't know. Is the ball in on him? You don't know. And how hard were they throwing? No idea. That's why I love to have the full body picture. All right, that's it for hitting. Now for base running. We very rarely watch guys run the bases. It's easy on a steal, I'll do that next, but running and circling the bases. So I wanna set my camera angle right here in between short and second. What I get from that is I would do it on a small diamond. It doesn't have to be the big 60 feet, 90 foot bases and all that. Just where I can see a stride. All right, so I got a lead here. You're gonna be able to see how do I round the base? What do I look like running? Am I smooth, am I choppy or whatever? This gives me a good, true evaluation. So I get a good lead, and then I get this explosiveness, come around, that's the bag, make my turn. And I feel away, I get a chance to see it. I'm on a tiny diamond. But let's say it was a little league diamond, that would still give you plenty of time to see what kind of pace and stride I might have. Last one on base running is base stealing. I wanna see, from this angle, a direct path to the base. So you get a chance to see what kind of crossover step do I have, what kind of strides do I have, and what max speed can I get to. So I'll get here, this angle right here will tell you all those things. I got myself lined up, I can see the lead, but from this position, you're gonna be able to see what kind of crossover step I have. Do I stay low, do I come up, am I explosive, or am I a heavy foot runner, or do I run lightly? So I would take this angle right here to show how to steal a base. All right, here's the pitch, I'm off and running. And that's pretty good. All right, that angle right there gives you everything you need to know. Now let's take some ground balls. The biggest thing with ground balls is kind of tricky. Yes, sometimes I like to see it up close like we are right now, and other times I like to see the full body so I can see how a guy feels, throws, what his movements and mechanics look like. So if I'm up close and I'm doing something like this, this is great for drills. You can go ahead and throw me some short hops or something like that. Boom, to see what kind of hand work I have and all those type of things. I'm not moving, but you can see, you can learn some good things up close like that. Being able to see because I'm stationary. I'm not moving. So now you see how my hands work. Do I have good hands for a guy or a coach that's looking at this? You go, oh man, he's got good hands right away. All right, and you can be able to look that in and study it. Now, if I want to be able to evaluate a guy's movement, Clearly I want my camera backed up behind the guy that's either hitting a ground ball or throwing a ground ball. Now, go ahead and roll it to me. I can see what kind of footwork do I have. Does he come through it, does he flow? What's his arm look like? As I come through this ball, feel it, get rid of it. All those things, can I charge it, throw it on the run? Can I back in, lift it all the way in, and make the throw? The other part that I want to see if I back up my camera a little bit more, this is the third phase of it, how does the ball carry when I throw it across the diamond? This is the final complete shot. All right, that's good right there. You want to catch the ground ball, come through it, and see what kind of arm strength I have. Now you're able to see, does this guy have arm enough to get it across the diamond and be able to throw it? The reason I'm at shortstop is it shows you two things at short. That's good, thank you, appreciate it. Two things of short stuff. I'm not bobbling the ball, what kind of hands do I have? What kind of footwork do I have to get rid of the ball? And my arm strength. That's why you take them at short stuff. I'm out of breath, that's it.
Hi guys, my name is Andrew Allen. I am eight years old and I live in Montclair, New Jersey. And this is my video. All right, good. There you go. All right, that's it. You're ready. Go. Go. That's it. 